because uh, one, for one thing, when it rains like that, the foundation of houses need to be built higher, like uh, uh, and roads, and even the causeway there, it needs to be built higher just in case if it washes away or something. Yeah, there's there's lots of lots of change I, I see. Growing up, I, I'm 65 years old today. It's my birthday. I mean, 56, 56, not 65, 56. And compared to then and now, there's been a lot of change in the weather. And even I noticed that uh, when, when the snow starts melting, it just goes right away, like almost like in two days, <laughs> kind of thing now. Whereas it was gradual before. It's kind of like the snow just disappears just like that. It's kind of like we have more sun heating up. I don't, I don't, I don't know how to call it. It's a very difficult uh, process for a student to head out at an early age to go attend school somewhere else and live somewhere else. It almost feels like it's a residential process and uh, having to try and uh, finish school away from family and community that you, you were brought up. It's a it's struggle. I guess that's why we have a high turnover rate for uh, high school graduates and so on, right? So this is the re main reason why uh, the council and previous council have been pushing to try and uh, get a high school up north and hoping that the neighboring communities will uh, attend school here. At least it will be in the same uh, cultural uh, region. The need to help my community was always there. Um, to help the struggles uh, what my community is going through. And I, 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 I thought I, I guess I just thought that I could uh, do a little to help my community, whatever I can. I guess um, to see our community develop is what uh, I hope for. applications and geo tests to find the location of the school we explored our we explored most of the community and we did our geo tests and we couldn't build it within the, close to the current school is we couldn't burn build it towards the west side of the island because of the flight path um, we weren't allowed to build within close proximity of the flight path for the airlines. Uh, so this is why we had chose across the lake. And there were a couple of options there that across the lake that we had to test. And this is the only place we could find the elementary side playground, which is this section. And we have a baseball field and a multi-sport uh, track with soccer field. 
and we have a hockey rink as well which we're uh, put in a, a cement uh, slab the rink we used to have was just gravel the reason why uh, we had uh, decided to put a cement slab on the hockey rink and lights is uh, we do have uh, various activities uh, for uh, ball hockey and we can do a lot of activities with that although we do have arena but it gets stuffy and kind of uh, dusty during the summer days where we usually host a ball activity so it's really kind of hard to breathe in there sometimes mm -hmm. when there's a lot of running so that's the reason why we uh, look at having a, a concrete slab on the outside rink. There are photos here. What we did was, uh, I don't know if uh, you had a chat, I don't know if you ever see Minecraft. Minecraft? The game? Yeah, the game, yeah. <laughs> so that's basically when we did our final submission. This is one of our team meetings. When the, there was a final submission, we walked through the whole school, and this is the cafeteria, and this is going to be the stage, and that's the, the corridor to the gymnasium. This is going to be the library, and here's going to be the gym. The cafeteria again. And the red portion is the administration and uh, other uh, resource areas, gym as well. And the gray portion is the kitchen, the kitchen cafeteria. And the green portion is the high school site. Address our power needs. At the same time, I found out through different colleagues uh, that I was working with that uh, the same neighboring committee was struggling with their power, which is at Wobika, also known as Angle Lake. So this wouldn't have happened to connect both communities without the fiber optic line. Mm. So fiber optic line plays a role in uh, putting these two generating uh, gensets together, working as one and creating more power to sustain at least five, seven years of uh, estimated growth for communities. So we are able to justify um, Webeka's cost of a new genset and KI's new genset that it would be better if we connect both communities as a microgrid Mm -hmm. to have both chances work together and to be able to have at least five, seven years of power without any um, going on any restriction. And, and um, <clears throat> having, it was slight delay for at least, at least two, three years trying to get this project going trying to justify it and so finally we got we got the approval that uh, we would build this construction line. We're looking at roughly around probably around 19 million just to connect both communities and address this uh, power need. This is where we, uh, we start from uh, the microgrid line. That's where it started from. And we just followed this route all the way over there. And the portion was here somewhere at the airport. And that was a total of uh, 28 kilometers of uh, clearing right away as well, and installing poles and hydro line connecting both communities. So you back somewhere within this area, all oh, right around here. And that's the road that leads to Wobika. So we have to go all the way around because we don't use the ice anymore. Mm -hmm. We hardly get that much ice. What was the other path? The other ice path? The other ice path would be from here straight across to here.
Wow, that would have been so much faster. It would, have been, it would have been this way. But the thing is, that requires a lot of flooding. And the weather being now what it is, uh, it would it takes long to create that crossing, and it's dangerous at times. So flooding, what is basic? What does flooding mean? What do you what do you mean by flooding? What is flooding that? Flooding is uh, you drill holes onto the ice, and you get this uh, torpedo water uh, pump. And just just put it there, and just floods the area. Just put water on top of the ice, and that water will freeze, and it will just complete uh, it gradually build up ice thickness on top. Because uh, Mother Nature creates ice, ice at the bottom, but this year it only went up to 17 inches, so it hasn't grown on that section. So we have to create ice in order for uh, some ice to cross. So the winter road goes over towards the sewer where these lines are. That's where the winter road towards uh, Kingfisher is. It's, it, but this map barely reaches one of our major uh, crossings, which is the Ashwood. Mm -hmm. So there is another crossing there that uh, we have to do. So. So I'm doing a labor pool questionnaire for a Watania Power. So the com every community member signs this questionnaire. I put their names into this draw. It's called incentive draw. So first prize is a Wasaya ticket. Second prize is iPhone 7. Wow. So yeah, I'm getting ready for the draw. So how many people? How many numbers? How many people do you think you have in the draw so far? I got 101. 101 people so far. And I distributed 400, no, 520 copies, and only 101 came back. Wow. So yeah. So when do you pull the draw? What time? Uh, 2.30. That's, That's like right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, you got to go. Thank you. Look at the time. He's like <laughs> five minutes late. Everybody's just anticipating. Thank you. <laughs> hey, I'm going to get the draw. Thank you. Have a good draw. I'll just tag you. All right. Okay, so this is a defensive draw. Uh, I'd like to say thank you, Chairman. I filled out a very cool questionnaire. So, Sam is here. He's going to pick three players. This is uh, one truckload donated by. What is it? For an umbrella. Uh, the truck, truckload of wood. Okay. Goes to Brittany Cinema. Brittany, you want so, to sell some wood? To a lumberjack to drop off a of wood to your house. And then the second plan goes to uh, iPhone 7, right here, check it out. Rose gold, that's nice. Nothing in my hands, nothing up my feet. There you go. Guys, are you going to do that? This is Steven Beardy. There's a new phone, come get it. You got half hour only. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> okay, first prize is last prize is a Wasaya ticket. Where are they go? Can I say? Donald McKay. Donald McKay from the health office. Here's a new ticket. Where are we going, Donald? Donald, where are we going? Yeah, I'll, bring, I'll bring the bucket. Cut, cut, cut. Ha, ha, ha.